hi guys you're most welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to achieve this ponytail this high ponytail um it is very very simple and my hope is that you'll be able to do it when we are done okay the first thing i am doing is to part some hair at the front and you can see that it is very very tiny um you can part it in a bulky way if you have a lot of hair or if you want the frontal part to be a lot i want it to be a little tiny like this okay so it all depends on you and i'm going to use this gel jaslyn glaze and well my at my back i am going to apply the gel um gently from my back and use my brush to brush through sometimes if you have natural hair you can part the hair into two and then you apply the gel inside before you apply the gel outside of your hair okay but from here you can see that i am doing just one coat on the outside of my hair i just hope you understand what i'm trying to say so all i'm doing is to apply the gel all over my hair because i'm going to put it in a ponytail okay and i'm making sure that every part of my hair is covered now i am using my hair brush to brush through to make sure that all the my hair is laid and fine and i'm going to use a rubber band to tie everything together on top of my hair you can use a different rubber band this particular rubber band will end up tearing your hair okay i didn't have the one that has the cotton um texture and when i was done i used my glue um spray to spray all over my hair just to make sure that the ponytail stays on a while and then i'm using my comb to make it fine and give me that definition and i'm using my blow dryer to blow the glue spray and the gel to make it um fine and then over here i'm just using my paper wrap to wrap around my hair so that i'll be able to do other stuff and then keep it for a while before i come back and um, continue with my hair and i'm going over with a scarf okay and once i felt my hair is completely dry then i put my detail up there i put it into three braids and then i add on an extension you can use any extension that you have and it should be totally fine and over here you don't need like massive skill just do a three braid you can equally do a two braid if that is comfortable that is twist okay and then you put it together to make it a little longer um than your natural hair and when you are done or when you reach the height of the um till you want to do you wrap it with a rubber band or you secure it with a rubber band and then you cut the remaining of the hair from the pony or the till that you have um pleated okay and then i'll use the same paper wrap to wrap around um the hair all the hair that i i plated at my head okay and as you can see i'm just going round and round and round to make sure that every part of that tail is covered with a paper wrap and then i use glue to secure so that it doesn't come off you can also use glue to secure the base so that it totally remains um all, all covered throughout okay and then i spread um a bonding glue all around the tail that i plated and i took this extension or this wig and by starting you start at the tip of the tail and then you wrap the extension or the wig around or the weave around um the tail and as you can see i am adding more glue because i realized that the glue was drying up very very fast so i am just wrapping the hair like you would wrap a traditional um thread around the hair okay if you haven't done it before i hope that my hand movement is okay for you to grasp it and then you wrap it around until you have reached to this very end and then you use your glue to spray and secure okay and then when i was done i fetched a reasonable amount of hair from the weave and then i used it to cover the um the 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 rubber band or where i had secured um the tail okay and then as i wrap it around i use um, my glue spray to wrap it around so once i wrap about three or four wraps then i use a glue spray to spray on it just to make sure that it is secured as i move along so you do it until you exhaust all the hair that you have fetched okay 
and then when i was done i used my hairbrush to brush through my ponytail and as you can see it is very very easy i hope you guys have gotten it and when i finished brushing through i made sure that i tied it with an extra thread this is optional there's no need to tie it with an optional with um with an extra thread you can leave it like that but with this particular style i wanted it to come a little bit higher so i used this clip in um ponytail to um to attach onto where i have made the tie just to give it a like a royal look you get it and besides i've had this clipping for a while i haven't used it before so i just decided to put it into good use um this time um like i said it is definitely optional you don't have to do this you can leave it like that when you finish wrapping the hair okay and then at my front i don't have a lot of hair at my front so i'm going to extend it and the way i'm going to do is to grab um, a weave and then apply um, a reasonable amount of glue on the weft and attach it um, onto the my own um, hair so you can see that it is going directly under my scalp okay it is going directly on my scalp not under <laughs> It's going directly on my scalp um, in between the pattern that I did so that I am able to cover the weft and hide the weft so that it gives an illusion of my own hair. Okay, your girl does not have a lot a lot of a lot of hair um at my front. Okay. So the extension that you will cut should be almost the same size as that of the hair you will part in front. So if you parted a bulky amount of hair, you cut it according to the to the to the hair length or okay or to to the size of the part so that you can attach and you can easily um hide the glue or the weft okay when you cover it with the rest of your hair and over here i am using a mousse to make it fine and then brush it through or comb it through with my comb just to like combine or mix my natural hair and the on and the weave together so that it blends together uh -huh, so that it blends together so when i was done i used my straightener to um curl at first i really wanted to curl but when i curled it wasn't given you get it so as you can see i i really really wanted to curl but it wasn't given for me so i ended up straightening it if you want to curl you can please feel free to curl but then i ended up um straightening it and this is how it is looking um, after I straightened it so as you can see I am feeling myself literally and this is how it is looking I went ahead to do my makeup and girl look at me look at me look at look at me 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 oh my goodness just look at the size so this is very very easy I spent less time I didn't spend up to an hour doing this at all um this is very very easy i hope that you have grasped it thank you so much for watching i really hope that this was helpful let me know in the comment section if this was helpful or not um thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel and please turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of my videos when i post and let me introduce you to my other socials i have a tiktok account and i also have an instagram account the tiktok i have about thirty-five thousand followers yay so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you bye